last devlog, I introduced this game I'm working on, a turn-based deck building roguelike kind of thing, and how in this video I'm going to get it to a more playable state. Let's do that by first adding some collision to the player. I'll just slap a rigid body 2D on there, set the gravity scale to zero, and that should work. Right? <laughs> Wrong! So this doesn't work because we're not moving the player with the rigid body, we're actually lerping it to the next grid position, which isn't actually a grid, it's just moving a specific distance each time. So we can't use regular physics here, it just won't work for this type of movement. So we need to implement some kind of wall detection using ray casts, so you can't just walk through them because that's fucking lame. By shooting a ray cast in each direction with a distance of 0.1 and a layer mask, we can detect if the player is up against a wall when the ray collides with that wall. I'm using this co routine to actually move the player, that way I can just call this and pass in the amount I want to move in a given direction. So before we move, we just check if that ray cast has hit anything. If the ray returns null, we haven't hit anything. If it's not null, then we've hit a wall and can no longer move in that direction. The enemy uses this same kind of wall detection. I actually started making some really simple AI so the enemy actually moves towards the player on its turn, but I haven't got around to obstacle avoidance yet, so if it hits a wall, it's pretty much just stuck. I'll be fixing that in the next devlog along with working on some other things like making some kind of inventory so you can actually start collecting these cards, some animations, and I might even start on the battle sequence. As you may have already noticed, I also added some post-processing effects like Bloom to get that nice glow and a vignette because it makes the game look better. That's pretty much all for this one. I'm trying to keep these kind of short for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.